Hello everyone, here we are going to start with the topic profit and loss from the chapter percentage. Very first of all, we'll try to learn what is profit and what is loss. Before going for the profit and loss, we should be aware of the two terms that is cost price and selling price. The cost price is the price on which any article is purchased and selling price is the price on which any object is sold. Now when CP is smaller than SP, in that case, we face a profit that is equals to SP minus CP and the profit percent equals to profit upon CP into 100 and when CP is greater than SP that is the cost price is greater than selling price in that case we face a loss and that is equals to CP minus SP and the loss percent is equals to loss upon CP into 100. Now let's begin with exercise 7.2 and do question number 1. Here in first part we are having the CP equals to 400 and SP equals to 468. As SP is greater than CP, therefore this is a case of profit and profit equals to SP minus CP that is 468 minus 400 and it will be equals to rupees 68 and the profit percent will be profit upon CP into 100 that is 68 upon 400 into 100. Two zeros are cancelled out and this will be 4, 1 and 7. So it is equal to 70 percent as profit percent. Now we will go for the second part and here we are having the CP equals to 13,600 and SP equals to 12,104. As we can see the SP is smaller than CP. Therefore it is a case of loss. So loss equals to CP minus SP. This will be equals to 13600 minus 12104. And on solving we get 1496 and loss percent equals to loss upon CP in 200 that is 1496 upon 13600 into 100. The two zeros are cancelled out and on dividing we get 11% as answer. Now let's see question number 2. Here we are having by selling an article for rupees 1696.25 a dealer gains rupees 96.25 find the gain percent. Here in question number 2 we have been given the SP that is equals to 1636.25 and the gain has been given as 96.25. We have to find the gain percent and the formula for the gain percent is also including cost price but we are not been given with the cost price. So first of all we are going to find the cost price with the help of these two data. So we can use the formula of profit that is equals to SP minus CP and place the values of SP and profit over here and this is 96.25 equals to 16. 36.25 minus CP. Now we are going to do the transpose. The CP will be sent over here and this will be sent on this side. And therefore this is equals to 1636.25 minus 96.25. And here we get CP equals to rupees 1540. Now profit percent equals to profit upon CP into 100 that is 96.25 upon this one that is 1540 into 100. Now on solving this we will be getting 6.25 percent as answer. Now let's see question number 3. Here we are having by selling an article for rupees 770 and man incurs a loss of 110. Find the loss percent. 
Here again, in this question, we have been given with the SP and loss, and we have to find the loss percent. As you all know, in the formula of loss percent, we include cost price. So first of all, we are going to find the cost price with the help of the formula of loss, and that is loss equals to CP minus SP. And we are going to place the values of everyone. And this loss is equals to one one zero equals to CP. We have to find SP is seven seven zero. Now this will be sent on this side, and therefore this can be written as CP equals to one one zero plus seven seven zero. That is equals to rupees eight eight zero. Now we can find the loss percent, and this will be equals to loss upon CP into hundred. And that is one one zero upon eight eight zero into hundred. Now we can cancel out these two. Eleven is going to cancel this by eight times, and four two zero and four twenty five times. So this will be equal to one two point five percent as answer. Now let's move to question number four. Here, Rashida bought twenty five dozen eggs at a rate of Rupees nine point six zero per dozen. Thirty eggs were broken in the transaction, and she sold the remaining eggs at one rupee each. Find her gain or loss percentage. Now the number of eggs she bought equals to twenty five dozen. That is equals to twenty five into twelve. This will be equals to three hundred eggs. Then number of eggs broken equals to Thirty. So number of eggs sold equals to three hundred minus thirty. That is two seven zero. And the rate of selling this eggs is rupees one each. Therefore, SP of two seventy eggs equals to two seven zero into one. That is rupees two seven zero. So here we are having the SP as rupees two seventy and the CP as rupees. Two four zero and as SP is greater than CP, therefore we are having a profit over here. That is equals to SP minus CP equals to two seventy minus two forty, and this will be equals to rupees thirty. Now the profit percent equals to profit upon CP in two hundred. That is thirty upon CP. We are having two forty into hundred. Here this is cancelled out. Three, eight times four, two times. So this will be twenty-five. So twenty-five upon two that is equal to twelve point five percent as profit percent. Now let's do question number five. And here we are having the cost of an art kill was rupees twenty thousand and rupees fourteen hundred was spent on its repair. If it is sold for a profit of twenty percent. Find the selling price of the article. Now here the CP of the article is rupees twenty thousand and spent on repairing is rupees one thousand and four hundred. So net CP equals to twenty thousand plus one four zero and zero. That is two one four zero zero rupees. Now we are also been provided with the profit percent of Twenty. Now we have to find the SP of this article. So very first of all, we have to find the profit which is earned in this article. So profit equals to twenty percent of CP. That is twenty upon hundred into two one four zero zero. This will cancel out, and here this is equals to rupees four two eight and zero. Now here, with the help of the formula, profit equals to SP minus CP. We can find the value of SP. Now we are going to place the values of profit and CP. So the profit we are having four two eight zero equals to SP minus CP is two one four zero zero. Now we are going to put this on this side. Therefore, this SP can be written as four two eight zero plus two one four zero zero. This will be equals to twenty five thousand six hundred and eighty as the SP for this article. Now we'll be doing question number six. Here, a shopkeeper buys 
200 bicycles at rupees 1200 per bicycle. He spends rupees 30 per bicycle on transportation. He also spends rupees 4000 on advertising. Then he sells all bicycles at rupees 1350 each. Find profit or loss, also calculate it as a percentage. Now, here, number of bicycles is 200. The cost of one bicycle is rupees 1200. Then, transportation per bicycle is rupees 30, and the cost of advertising is 4000 rupees. So, the total cost price equals to 200 into 1200, that is cost of one bicycle then 200 into 30 which was a transportation charge for one bicycle and 4000 rupees for the advertisement. So the sum of all is 250,000 rupees. Now selling price of one bicycle is rupees 1350. So the net selling price of 200 bicycles will be 1350 into 200 that is equal to rupees 270,000. Now we'll compare the total CP and total SP. As we see, the total SP is greater than total CP. This means here the shopkeeper is having a profit. That is equal to SP minus CP, which is 2,70,000 minus 2,50,000, which is equal to 20,000 as the profit. And the profit percent equals to profit upon CP into 100. That is 20,000 upon the CP, which is equal to 2,50,000. 2, 5 and 4 times 0 into 100. Now we can cancel out 4 zeros from here. This 25 we're going to give 4 over here and 2 into 4 that is 8% as the profit. Now let's see question number 7. Here the cost price of an article is 90% of his selling price. Find his profit percentage. Here let SP be rupees X. Therefore, CP equals to 90% of X. That is 90 upon 100 X. This will be cancelled out and we will be getting 9 upon 10 X. Then we have to find the profit percent. For that, first of all, we find the profit. So profit equals to SP minus CP, which will be x minus 9 upon 10x and this will be 10 at the base so this will be 10x minus 9x which is equals to 1 upon 10x now we have to find the profit percent over here so profit percent equals to profit upon cp into 100 that is 1 upon 10x whole upon cp we are having 9 upon 10 so 9 upon 10x into here, this x is going to be cancelled by this. Both denominators are also being cancelled out and we are left with 1 upon 9 into 100. Now, solving this, this will be 11 whole 1 by 9% as answer. Now, let's go with question number 8. And here, we are having the raw bought notebooks at a rate of 4 for rupees 35 and sold them at a rate of 5 for rupees 58. We have to calculate his gain percent and the number of books he should sell to earn a profit of rupees 171. Here we have been given with the CP of 4 notebooks as rupees 35 and the SP of 5 notebooks as rupees 58. So first of all we are going to find the CP of 1 notebook and SP of 1 notebook. Therefore the CP of 1 notebook is 35 upon 4 and the SP of 1 notebook is 58 by Five. Now we have to find the gain percent on this notebook. For that, first of all, we are finding the gain on one notebook that is equals to 5 8 upon 5 minus 35 by 4. Now we'll take LCM and here we'll be getting 20 as LCM, then 4 into 58 and 5 into 35. That is equals to 57 by 20. Now the gain percent equals to gain upon CP into 100. The gain is 57 upon 20. So 57 upon 20 whole upon the CP is 35 by 4 into 100. Now this 4 can cancel out this by 5 times and this will be giving you 
थर्टी सेवन अपॉन थर्टी फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड ना हेयर फाइव कैन कैंसल दिस वन बाई गेटिंग ट्वेंटी दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी कैंसल आउट फॉर सेवन एंड विल बी गेटिंग फोर ओवर हेयर सो फिफ्टी सेवन इंटू फोर अपॉन सेवन विच इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट अपॉन सेवन विच कैन बी फर्दर रिटर्न एज थर्टी टू होल्ड फोर बाय सेवन परसेंटेज अब यू टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ नोटबुक्स ही शुड सेल टू ऑप्टेन रुपीज वन सेवन जीरो एज प्रॉफिट सो वन सेवन वन अपॉन फिफ्टी सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी ना दिस ट्वेंटी विल बी मूव टू द न्यूमरेटर दिस विल बी वन सेवन वन इंटू ट्वेंटी अपॉन फिफ्टी सेवन ना फिफ्टी सेवन थ्री टाइम्स सो थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी दैट इज सिक्सटी नोटबुक सो ऑन सेलिंग the 60 notebooks the shopkeeper will get a profit of rupees 171 now we are moving to question number 9 here a vendor buys bananas at 3 for a rupees and sell it 4 for a rupee find his profit or loss percentage here the cp is rupees 1 by 3 and sp is rupees 1 by 4 as he purchased Three bananas for a rupee and is selling four bananas for one rupee. Now, on comparing both CP and SP, we get the one upon three. That is the value of CP is greater than one upon four. That is the value of SP. So the shopkeeper is facing loss over here. Loss equals to CP minus SP. And here, one upon three minus one by four. Now we are going to take LCM. This will be twelve over here. And here we will be getting four minus three. That is equals to one by twelve, and then the loss percent equals to loss upon CP into hundred. That is one by twelve upon CP. We are having one by three into hundred. Now we are going to make a transpose. This will be this three will be moving to here. So three upon twelve into hundred. Here three is going to cancel out. This will be four, and this will cancel to give twenty five. So twenty five percent is required. Answer. Now let's see question number ten. Here, a shopkeeper buys a certain number of pens. If the selling price of five pens is equal to the cost price of seven pens, find his profit or loss percentage. Now let SP of five pens equals to CP of seven pens and is equals to X. Therefore, the SP of one pen equals to X upon five and CP of one pen equals to X upon seven. Now, on comparing these two, we get SP is greater than CP. Therefore, this is a case of profit, and profit equals to SP minus CP. That is X by five minus X by seven. The LCM of five one seven will be thirty five. So we get thirty five over here. This will be seven X minus five X. That is equals to two X by thirty five. Then we will move for the profit percentage. And the profit percent equals to profit upon CP into hundred. So here we get two x upon thirty five upon CP that is equals to x upon seven. So x upon seven into hundred. Now we are going to make a transpose, and this will become two x into seven upon thirty five into x into hundred over here. Here this x will be cancelled out. Then seven five times and five will cancel this one by. 20 so we are having 20 into 2 that is 40% as answer that's all for this video thank you